pull? I'm not sure. I know she's definitely had some very impressive results this season, taking out Antia Evo, among a lot of other top names. But this is indeed winner's final, so Shaky climbing all the way up to... Uh Have you, have you seen Shaky opt to just go Pikachu in this match and just completely forego the Ness Rose when you match up in general, but you must be feeling pretty confident right now. Even not off the stage, this is pretty tough for Rosa as well, but I've heard whispers from Ness players who say it's really not all that bad as long as you can make your recovery work, but that's a really big if. Yeah, super big if. Great down smash though. Hot Zaltis peeking past the ledge. That recovery is super exploitable. I like the yeah. hit under there. They both suffer from a very similar weakness in this matchup. It's that their recoveries are really either predictable or slow and predictable for Ness. Nice. Hey. Right, saving the jump there from Shaggy. That was such a smart recovery. He saved the jump and then he just saved the air dodge perfectly timed so he wouldn't have to be committing to the up B there. Yeah, between PK Thunder and down smash, it's definitely not quite as easy for Ness uh, to exploit Rosalina as it is for the reverse, but you definitely can see some shenanigans from Ness's part as well. And that charge up smash is not going to work out. Zalta's committing a way too hard. But now she's got Shiki off the stage yeah, and very, Uma. Yeah, I, I like the positioning there. Just kind of hanging his airspace, who he's going to go for and just drop the really media box there. Uh oh. oh yeah, this is the rough. Oh no! He's, oh, he got hit oh. by the. Oh, it didn't matter. That's oh. not usually how you see that work out. But actually, yeah, the tail of the PK Thunder coming back and hitting Ness while it's circling around Rosalina. And wow, Zaltis, she's going to go ahead and take that first game yeah, in a very uncon unconventional fashion. Yeah, that's just the nature of the matchup. Okay. Oh, I have heard about this game and watch, actually. He's been recently using a game watch in the NorCal locals and actually doing really well. So, I I mean, it's better than Ness, <laughs> I guess, versus Rosalina. Yeah, I think Mr. Game & Watch is a criminally underrated character in this game. We've seen Reggie do some disgusting things to people, and not too many other people actually discovering what this character is capable of. So, Shaky, of course, top talent in terms of actual skill as a player. Yes. So I'd love to see what he can bring to the table with this character. Yeah, and in Norcal too, um, there's Cosmos doing a lot of work with the character as well. So I know he kind of has a, mm. him to kind of bounce ideas off and really try to see what we can do with the character. So um, I, I have a good expectation for this game watch. Yeah, I have seen Cosmos pulling some pretty serious results with this character. And I was going to say that this is exactly why Shaky picked this character. The dash attack eviscerates Luma so quickly. But yeah. I think it's kind of a double-edged sword in this matchup because, I mean, look at how quickly Rosalina can kill Game & Watch with Luma's up air and down air. Well, I mean, Rosalina is pretty light herself, too. You see mm -hmm. right now, Shaky's already going for the kill with that up smash. Also, Shaky has the wild card factor in this matchup, too, because we were oh. talking about before where Konkon might not know how to fight Rob because of the lack of Robs in SoCal, but where are their game watches really anywhere? I, except, I guess, now there are two in NorCal. Yeah, it's, it, he's also a very uncommon character of his own right. Whereas Rosalina, there's an abundance of this character everywhere to get practice from. And man, so unfortunate. I feel like Game Watch thrives so much off of his down throw combos, but Luma being right there to interrupt them. Yeah. It's also going pretty deep off stage there, but Shaky's gonna go for the the crazy downer, super greedy off stage punish. I mean, he had so many other safer hitboxes to challenge that up view with too, but I don't know, he wanted to end it there. Yeah, he just bet it all there and not really the best choice. Wow, no dash attack on the Luma. I feel like the down tilt was just a failed turnaround dash attack. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely got to go back to just neutralizing Luma as quick as possible. Again, picking a very high-risk option by just going for that. I believe it was forward smash, but it got interrupted so fast that I didn't even see the, the startup of the move. Hey, okay, Jab, also a pretty good tool as well. Luma's out of there. Shaky's trying to make a big play right now. Oh, my goodness. Barely outside range of the up smash. Oh, Shaky, man. He's loving these smash attacks when Zaltus is in the corner, but she's just a little bit too patient to get hit by it as you must be as a Rosalina player. Okay, though, Jab gonna take Luma out real quick. Oh, missing the the down smash out of the forward air spike. That was interesting. I guess Shaggy takes protecting time. Yeah, and also, you know, when you bounce off the ground, you have no lag or no hit stun. So oh, you can, correct. if you're mashing on the air dodge, a failed tech can turn to a clutch air dodge. Luma's out of there. They're both at kill percent, though. I don't think Shaky can get anything off a of grab yet. Gonna try to oh get- Oh my <laughs> goodness! No way! 
<laughs> Zaltus. Oh my God. Taking that like a good sport though. Wow. She's just laughing, looks back at the crowd. But Dude, Shaky has the most like serious expression too. Like that was just yeah, of course, of course I did that. Shaky is always completely stone faced, man. <laughs> Like, his personality and his tag do not line up at uh, all. Yeah, he's not shaky at all. He's rock solid most of the time. That was crazy. So I guess Zaltus buffered uh, a second jump immediately out of the win box. Mm -hmm. Tied immediately. Wow, that's I've never seen that before. Yeah, that actually can kill. But you just <laughs> it's very infrequent that it happens because most people are just spamming air dodge. Right, right. But I guess Zaltus just didn't expect him to keep going for the, the win box. Oh, okay. It's Shaky's Game & Watch is going to take that game. Really also, crazy ending, definitely thought his tag was C for, <laughs> for the hot minute, oh, but no. <laughs> it's actually S it's exclamation just, yeah, point, yeah. And where are we going to see Zaltus counterpick to? Okay, Dreamland, I understand, you know, oh, yeah, three definitely. platforms, but no advanced ceiling height. Three, yes. Two, one, Strong Rosalina go. counterpick here. I think this also can benefit Game & Watch, though. We already saw this character kills off the top like a beast. Oh, but the platform coming in clutch for Luma as dash attack pops her up just a little bit too high. Yeah, I wonder if Zaltus also takes that into account in this stage as well. Yeah, Smashville, man, how many times have you fought a Rosalina on Smashville? Oh, the platform just comes and saves Luma, yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's also a thing. Still, though, I really do like this Game & Watch Switch. He's found a, such an easier time just neutralizing Luma. That's just something he didn't have in a nest matchup. Yeah, I'm surprised to see no Pikachu, though. Or even Zero Suit Samus. I, I don't know if he still plays CSS. I've definitely seen uh, the Game & Watch and Pikachu more often than the Zero Suit, but it's definitely working out for him right here. He's got to be careful, though. Game & Watch still is very light. And he almost just saw his entire life disappear in front of him. Up throw to up air from Rosalina will definitely crush Game & Watch's stock at this percent. Oh, you got to be careful. Luma is active at that point. can easily intercept any type of hit that uh, Rosalina was in. But the Bacon's actually going to take out Luma. <laughs> She's a vegetarian, man. Oh, Zaltus, gotta be careful here. I know what uh, Shaky likes to do with the up air here, just keep Rosalina uh, in the air. He doesn't have the best landing options, but he can just trap her landings really easily. Luma respawns at the most clutch moments, man, I swear. That almost was real bad for Shaky, but fortunately he had the presence of mind to just put his shield up at the last second, and more like he had the frames to put his shield up at the last second. Because as soon as you see Luma appear, that's immediately what you're thinking. Yes. R button. Exactly. Oh, edge guard opportunity. It's, it's a very smart option to throw this match attack there just because of Rosalina's recovery. It tends to extend her hurtbox past the ledge more often than not. So you can get easily two frames that way. Yeah, kind of like Falcon, where even though she technically snaps to the edge on the way up, her head is exposed and does come above. Exactly. Game Watch's dash attack, one of the easiest moves to clip recoveries like that with. So it's just, again, above Game Watch where you don't want to be. Oh my goodness, risky business at the ledge here. Very smart by Shaky to back off after the jab pressure from Rosalina. If you try to interrupt that aggressively, she can just do another jab, one, two, three from Luma, and it's so quick. Yeah, it's better just to take the shield damage and then get retreat to a better defensive position. Yeah, or even a worse one, honestly, because it's better than dying, being yeah. in the corner. <laughs> oh, people no forget way! how active no that way! neutral air is all the time. I don't think I've ever seen the landing hit of Rosalina yeah. kill with that. You gotta, you gotta Not watch even that Luma. Move. That move is super active. You have to just weigh out the whole animation if you want to try to punch it. But dash attack is just enough to take out that stock. Only 10%. That's the best case scenario for Shaky right now. Shaky was so close to getting that done like 40 seconds ago in the same exact scenario. But this time he is able to close out the first stock. Zaltus, though, with a tiny, tiny lead right now. Yeah. Okay. Throws him off stage. Trying to get Nezgar here. Doesn't get the upper uh, needs. But oh, no, no way. way. Not like that. <laughs> I could oh. swear he was going to do a reverse up B because you can still just drift. You have a parachute. You can. I, I just